Hi everybody, and welcome to the next episode of Mass Effect. I really hope you're enjoying watching these videos as much as I am playing them. Okay then, if you remember, at the end of the last episode we just spoke to the farmers, um, and we're now going on to further onto the side to try and see what's happened to uh, Nihilus, who apparently was shot by Saren. Commander, it's and Nihilus. his body. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. You're saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone! If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise. This... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Okay. I can see there's a couple of uh, enemies. Presumably gap there. Which we will need to deal with. So we'll use Ashley for concentrated fire. Let's just do that one for now. that it might do some damage to those can 
it has. Perimeter secure. Called making use of the environment. Okay, now you can see up there there are some more geth to deal with. So we'll swap over to the sniper rifle, which as I say is very difficult to use, but it's got the power of the distance. down, but say once we've disposed of these he will come back but with limited health. When one of your teammates says um, uh, something like that, it means basically that you can save the game if you want to. You can't normally save in the middle of a, a fight, but if you get a thing like uh, that, then it, you can do a save. But I don't think we'll bother saving at the minute. Um, we've got five health, so let's replenish some health. There we go. And he doesn't need to. And I don't think we want our weapon out either. But here we've got a med kit, so we'll pick that up. Because obviously we use one um, to replenish our health. So we're heading for the front of the train now. And off we go. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. setting the charges and here we are arriving okay and off to work we go so what to say in there right, demolition okay. charges the geth must Let's have planted them hurry we need to find them all and shut them down that's one down that the gap are getting quite close and the pistol is easy to oh where are they oh I thought I thought they were close to them. I think we 
better get back onto the sniper rifle. And there we go. One lurk in there, not that far in. Show his face. Back to the pistol just in case we need to use it quickly. That is number three disarmed. So that's all the uh, detonators disarmed. Now go on to the uh, platform and uh, try and find this beacon. Now, yeah, let's go back to the sniper. He wasn't expecting that. It's over, but it isn't entirely over. As you can see, we've got some of these uh, ex-humans. Uh, they're going to be coming close, so we can probably do that. Use powers as well. Concentrated fire and a throw shot. Well, they're getting up. <laughs> and that is all. All targets down. Thank you. Right, okay. We'll just uh, check these out. Begin manual over on it. A, B, B. What have we got here? We'll take them and decide about distribution to teammates a bit later on, I think. To be honest, I think we'll leave it. Um, the weapons don't appear to be much of an advancement over what we've actually got at the minute. Obviously, as you get further into the game, we will be able to upgrade to better weapons, but I don't think it was even worth using Omnigel to open that one. Okay, so I think we've just got one more crate but that is just openable like that. Improve sighting. I wonder whether that might be useful for the... Oh, take that. So let's have a look. Um, sniper rifle. I'm not going to bother changing the uh, sniper rifle over because it's less accurate. So. But we could put some improved sighting on uh, our current weapon, that's good. And now we've got three more points to spend. Um, I think we'll put one on to damping uh, electronics, should I say. One on to decryption. And...
run onto pistols. Now, as you can see, we've got an extra bit of uh, thing there. We've still not opened sniper rifles. And if we hover over sniper rifles, we need to get five points on pistols in order to start up upgrading sniper rifles. You'll see the same with uh, fitness. We need six points of tactical armor before we can go to fitness. Uh, damping, we need one more point of electronics and we'll be able to use damping. Um, first aid, we need to get another four points onto decryption. And basically, basically that's it. Now, at the bottom we've got charm and intimidate. Charm is what you'll use for Paragon. Um, I couldn't remember the other day what the, the term was for the for the good guys. It's Paragon and then Intimidate for Renegade. But as I say, I am going to play it as a Paragon and it doesn't pay to mix the options. You either decide to go for Charm or Intimidate. In other words, Paragon or Renegade. Because there are benefits to getting a high charm score as there are to getting a high renegade score. But if you do half and half, you'll not get any benefit. So like I say, you need to decide which path you're going to go down to um, do better in the game. Anyway, so that's all for that. Um, I'm forgetting my teammates, aren't I? Don't be me. Right, there we go. Now we we'll do that. So that's that. And let's just clear up the entries for the journal and the codex. Okay. And now let's go and check out the beacon. It seems to be sending some signal. Okay, so investigate and this sets up a cutscene Normandy the beacon this is, is secure, amazing requesting actual evac. working Prothean technology unbelievable it wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up something must have activated it Roger Normandy standing by is being effective but Shepard notices and intervenes. identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Female Asari is Matriarch Benezia. Her voice is supplied by Marina Sirtis. Doctor? Doctor Chakwas. I think she's waking up. Who played Counselor Diana Troy in Star Trek The Next Generation. You had us worried, Just sort of fill that in. <laughs> How are you feeling?
Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. 15 hours? Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay.
Well, at this point, normally, I would go and chat to the various crew members, but I think, just to move things along, um, let's go and uh, to see straight okay, over to see uh, Joker, the um, pilot of the Normandy. Right, things like this. Examine that, do what you see, and I got 12 points of experience just for. So, you do need to make sure you don't miss any of these uh, observations because they build up your experience. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. sizes and everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster! Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Alliance Tower, please proceed to Dock 422. Okay, so we're now at the Citadel. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. And that is all we have time for in this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and you will join me for the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.